Health news now, a new potential use for Botox. You may think it's just for cosmetic purposes, but new evidence seems to show otherwise. Some doctors have found success using the injections to treat stroke victims. Beiji Chang shows us how it works. Pouring a glass of juice and then drinking it, putting the dishes in the washer, and walking down the steps all by yourself. These simple everyday movements that most people take for granted were not possible for Sandy Gerber until recently. Seven years ago, he suffered a stroke. I lost my right side completely. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. But a few weeks ago, he says his life changed when he met Dr. John Kellerman, a neurologist who specializes in using Botox. Yes, Botox, the same drug that is used to smooth wrinkles. Dr. Kellerman gave Sandy five injections in the arm and six in the leg. After two days, I was able to turn my hand over, which I never did for seven years. Botox has been used since the 60s for therapeutic uses, but it was only FDA approved recently to treat spasticity. See the finger twitching? Botox works by blocking signal into certain muscles that are counteracting proper movement. Pull your leg up, pull, pull it up, pull it up, up and in. Sandy says Botox has made him a changed man at physical therapy. But not everyone is as lucky as Sandy. Medical experts say Botox may have worked for him, but it doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Neurologist Jonathan Brisman doesn't want all stroke victims to gain false hope. He says much of the results could be psychological. People who have either a hemiparesis uh, or even more than two limbs involved, those people are, are less likely to benefit. For Sandy, the results are clear, able to do things he hasn't been able to in years. I can't be more ecstatic than I am right now. It took me seven years, but it seems to be working. Well, the treatment only lasts a few weeks, and patients need more injections. Still, patients, patients like him say for the results, it is so worth it.